right, so everybody's been asking, what's up with the 55? What's up with the 55? That's what I've been asking, too. Here's the 55. Uh, the firewall work is all done. The frame rail work is all done. We've showed you that. Um, and, man, you know, of course, Dawn and Dusty have done a killer job on it. It looks good. I'm so, excited about getting it back. Uh, there's really not a whole lot left, I, even though it looks like, you know, a six-month project. Yeah. And with everything else that we got going on, it might be a six-month project, yeah. but we really wanted to get this thing going before uh, before winter was up. And not like a lot of other projects that we got, yeah. we got a lot to do, and winter's almost up. Our winter is getting shorter and shorter. It is. So we are going to today probably look for the water pump which i think i see it right no no that's a catch can <laughs> hopefully the water pump is out here i'm pretty sure i brought it out here with this uh we'd like to put the pro charger on it yeah. before we leave that way he can see where the radiator is going to have to mount and then he's going to mount the front end other than that no yep. So we, we sent the Pro Charger back to Pro Charger to get checked out after the crash. Everything checked out okay. They freshened it up for us, sent it back. It's just been chilling in the box since. Uh, while this thing's been out here, aside from all this badass work that they've done, you know, we moved the motor back, put the recessed firewall in there. They also redid the exhaust on this thing. Um, that way we can we run it out it the back. all the way out the back. And we just had it dumped shit under the seat <laughs> yeah a foot or two before the rear end so it was kind of uh temporary yeah which turns out now it was just temporary yeah most of the temporary stuff that we do is permanent yeah but uh this turned out to be temporary yeah Man, just like good. the radiator it's never, and... it's never looked like this yeah no they uh they've done an amazing job just like we knew they would that's why it's out here but yeah, they've they've done great. Like we showed you on the last video, the intake didn't really fit. It's a lot lower too. because we, you know, moved the motor back, so they had to recess the firewall even more. And yes, this thing is the low. Uh, touch on a couple things while we're out here that everyone always asks about. Uh, we have no idea whose Maverick this is. This is not ours or anyone that we know. It is cool though. We do agree with you. Oh yeah, no, it's cool. <laughs> it's been here for a long time though. Yeah. So, oh. just to touch on that, everyone always asks, we don't know, but yes, it is cool. There's a couple cars out here that we don't know, but yes, they are cool. Yeah. Oh, look. Thanks guys, they straighten the steering wheel. Oh, yeah. Yep. There's Dad's helmet that he threw. <laughs> In the same spot that yep. it. Right over there where it broke the yeah, you know, the fuse panel. The fuse panel. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot how cool that shifter was that Mickey did for us with the red knob. So that's where we are on the 55. We'll start dragging stuff in here and uh, bolting some things on the front of the motor, and hopefully start making this thing look more and more like a car. Mm, and then we're gonna see how much power this thing gave us from the last time we died. It, it looked like a lot. <laughs> yeah, Dad, just going off of what No Lift Rick said. It was a lot more power. Yep. So, yep. hey, look, and he probably ain't wrong about no. that. No. But still. We got some more pieces in from Dan Chuck for this deal. Um, that's that's kind of what we've been waiting on so that Don can mount the front end again, yes. right? Well, specifically this grill. Uh, I, don't, I actually don't know what this piece right here is. This is why I'm looking. I'm thinking that this is all the the chrome that goes around the grill uh, and that right there is the grill so the grill is super chrome let pack her in there good yeah y'all good sometimes it'd be nice here to have a knife you yeah know, even though i'm not supposed to have one <laughs> oh yeah that's what i thought it was this is all the chrome on the outside that, that surrounds the grill. oh yep jesus man whoever their chromer is damn this is nice but i don't think we've got anything from them that we haven't said is nice right i guess that's why we use them right nice isn't always light no but, you know 
But it's nice. But it's nice. Weight is sign of reliability. Yep. Let me put this in here and then let me show you all the grill. Of course, this is the same VFN hood that we had last time. Uh, when he makes these hoods for us, he makes them to where you can bolt them on. Yep, you could put we the hood latch assembly came in. came through here, you could put the whole hood latch assembly on. It's a nice solid hood. I'm sure they make lighter ones. Oh yeah. I'm sure if we asked him, he would make this one lighter without all of this on it. But that's one of those deals that I've, I've driven cars down the road with race car hoods on them it's it ain't cool man yeah, they just like flop they're around. flimsy they flop they suck in yep. this is gonna do none of that uh look at that real strong still put the bird on the hood mm. which is what we do and we also will put the the emblem on the front yeah there. and then underneath here it has the big piece of chrome that's yep. in that. That was in that I box don't know. just opened. Well, that could just be the grill. Oh. I don't know if that was the hood. I'm sure it's a different assembly. Yeah. It all matches up, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, so, man, my ears will not pop. Uh, we'll just come through here and we'll cut all this off. It'll save a little bit of weight and won't really take away from the strength. Yeah. Mm. But this, this is pretty much mm. what we've been waiting on. Damn. So that thing is shiny. This is some of the best looking chrome I've ever seen. Yeah, whoever Dan Chuck's chromers are, bravo. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Uh, the last one that we had was the original one from 55. So yeah. I've never actually seen one this nice. Yeah. Every 55 we've ever had. I remember whenever I was a kid. Uh, my dad had two 55s growing up, and that's the reason that I love 55 so much. Yeah. Uh, when I was a kid, dad used to give me the the Scotch Bright, not the Scotch Bright. Steel wool. We use the steel wool yeah. on on anything that's chrome. And here you go, have at it. And he had to try to get in between all of them little deals. <laughs> yeah. And both the 55s that we had, of course, all we did was shine them up the yeah. best that we could yeah you know so that was me that was my job doing little stuff like that Oof, man i don't have to do that anymore uh -huh. um so pretty much everything except the hood though came from jan dan chuck like we got the quarters the door uh both fenders yeah, got a new this right here that is Amazing. Oh, your bumper. I'm not even real sure if I'm going to get this bumper out yet, but this is uh, so a long time ago when I first built this car. I I, I was going to say nobody wants, but I didn't want to have the the push bars yeah. on the front uh, like all stock 55s do. And anybody that knows anything uh, a whole lot about 55s, I don't know if 55s the only year because I don't know much about the other tri fives. Right. But the front bumper and the rear bumper on 55 Chevys, they're three piece. They bolt in, they bolt on. Uh -huh. So there's a front and then there's two sides and they have bolt holes. You can see the seams, you can see all that stuff. Huh. So whenever I first built that 55, I didn't care that that front bumper was 800 bucks. Yeah. Like it was a deal where it was a deal breaker for me not to have it. So whenever I first ordered my very first 55 Chevy bumper ever, which is the one that was on the car when dad crashed <laughs> it, uh, I had to have the same bumper. Yeah. You know, there was no, there's no getting around that. So I ordered it from them, from, from Dan Chuck, and they had the one piece, and I believe they call it the one piece California style front bumper. So we'll get all that out and show you all that later. Uh, I'm not even 100% sure what this is unless it's bumper brackets. And if it is, I didn't use them the first time and I'm probably not going to use them again. Right. So, but it is taped to that front bumper like. Like it goes with it. Yes. But if you see, the bracket in this deal is welded on and everything is chromed after they weld it on. Yeah. So, no indentions in it. None of uh, the big bumper bolts. No, no carriage bolts through. or anything. No. Or... no. It's 
all kinds of parts in here for this deal. Also, this is the old drive shaft QA1 deal. We brought it out to see about how much further we move the motor back. Hopefully, this doesn't even come close to fit. Hopefully that deal's about three inches too long. Three, I'd, <laughs> I'd take three inches. At this point, inch and a half, maybe two, yeah. I'm hoping. So, brought the battery back out just in case. There's, I can already tell you there's no way we're gonna get that far. No. I'm not staying out here long enough today. Uh, Aiden has a baseball game tonight. I feel terrible. So that's just not gonna happen. Yeah. Um, we'll just come back out here. Basically, we wanted to drop this stuff off, put the Pro Charger on it so that he'll know where the radiator where can be, go. Where and... the radiator can go. Uh, be Cool is sending us the radiator. Uh, I'm not real sure when it's gonna be done. I talked to him yesterday and he said something like always is on back order yep. with everything in America right now. It's the way it is. Yep. Something was on, something they couldn't get, but they believe it's gonna be in next week. So, so, so soon. Yes. When will then be now? Okay. Um, what else? So we have uh, everything to go to the front of the motor here. Here's all the Pro Charger brackets. Uh, we've got the Pro Charger blow off valves. We have the alternator, which I'm gonna have to make that deal work just like I did the first time. Uh, if everybody remembers, we mounted it backwards and just bolted it to the, the mid plate, motor plate. Yep. Here's the Pro Charger fresh back from Pro Charger. F1X. So ready to make some more power. Got some pipe from race parts out here so Don can make a new cold pipe. Yep. Um, I don't know. We got enough to keep us busy for a couple hours and enough to keep them going for a couple more weeks. Yep. To yep. So we'll open this deal up and uh, kind of see where we're at with it. Uh, I did notice that we messed up a few things the first time we put this deal together. This thing, when they sent it to us, I don't know, we didn't have all the, the bolts in it. No. No. Yeah, let's blame that on Monkey. Can we blame that on Monkey? Let's blame something monkey, on Monkey. Me and Monkey put this kit together, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. So it was me and Monkey, so it was Monkey's fault. Yeah. He's supposed to watch over what I do, <laughs> right? And that I mean, he, he always does? does. Isn't that what he does? Yeah. And he's definitely always watching over something. Yep. He didn't watch over me good enough. <laughs> I'm going to tell him about it, too. It is. Oh, yeah. Oil, don't forget that. Oh. What happened? That deal right there got hit. Yeah. That's probably why we sent it in, huh? Oh, wow. Huh. Might should cut that off. Put another one on it. Yeah. I welded that deal on. Yeah, so it's got to be strong. Yeah. Here's our bracket that we probably didn't put enough bolts in. Let me look. It may not be. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the one. Man, it just, it doesn't get much simpler for a street car than mm -hmm. a Pro Charger. I mean, you can bolt on literally any amount of horsepower you want. Yeah, that's uh on on all four, you know, got hit here and here. Hmm. Yeah, we might have to investigate that. Uh -huh. One thing we for sure need to measure while we're out here is drive shaft length. Um, we did move the motor back a little bit. So we need to check and see. Yeah, we just don't know how much, considering uh, we got that setback firewall in there. Right. Uh, we don't believe we did too much, but you know. Okay, we're bottomed out there. Oh, yeah, that needs to be uh, half inch. Well. Three quarter? I, th I think it would go with this one, but. It'd be jammed up in there. Well, whenever this thing sets down, 
But you also got to think, we're hoping that this thing extends right. as soon as we let off the button. And if it does, that's where we're at right now. Uh, really, when you do this measure for your drive shaft, you want the thing to be setting on the ground. But we don't really have that option right now. And this thing doesn't move that much whenever it extends because I believe this thing only extends, what, three inches? I think so, yeah. So three inches is what this thing extends. Um, we're gonna probably need three quarters of an inch shorter than this one. So, man, this thing's still got stock firewall in it. Stock yeah. location firewall. Yeah. Fit all the classes. That's right. That's why I said that. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm trying to gouge this thing up too bad, get it out. Okay. Take this home with us. Uh, guys, come to find out, we came out here and we don't have <clears throat> something pretty crucial that we need, which is the uh, water pump. Oh, yeah. And I would just run to O'Reilly's here in town and get a water pump, but you can't do that. Not with this deal. I Not forgot. Not with this deal. Yeah. We, uh, when we were building this deal, we, uh, we milled down <laughs> our water pump. <laughs> Monkey so, really didn't want to do it either. Well, because he said, if you're on the road, but yeah. it's better than milling everything else down. Yeah. What else would we have to mill down? Oh, all the Procharger brackets. Right. Remember? And I wasn't going to do that. Right. Because this is the one thing that would not affect our belt right we weren't gonna affect our belt yeah if we need to we'll get a second water pump have monkey mill it down the same just in, like unless water pumps don't really ever but go out but you know out. what in my opinion if we're on the side of the fucking road with a water pump bad yeah. on this car we put a stock one on it we didn't mill that much off right i think it will still work yeah that was just me yeah. but you know monkey looking over my shoulder like uh -huh. monkey does uh -huh doing doing his job doing monkey things yes uh he was like no man no it needs to come <laughs> back a little bit i don't think that it would run because basically it's got that big bell on the front of yeah. it yeah and it's wide it's like this yep. we only have a we got a 10 10 rib on this deal 10 rib okay we got a 10 rib belt so it would it's got a little bit of leeway leeway on that deal. right everything else has no leeway because they got the belt Yes. And it's got to run on a certain spot. It's, on got, the, it's got the grooves in the, in the pulleys. And if we get one of those things off, because be then you're talking belts and which we already had to do the uh, alternator, but it's on its own belt. Oh, it's yeah. all by itself. So that didn't really matter. Yeah. But you throw one of those pulleys off on, on how many ever things that it circles around on that pro charger and you got pro charge belts yep. problems. Yep. We don't want those. So, no, so this be, is how I decided to do it. You yep. know why? Because it's my car. Because it's yours. <laughs> and I'm going to be the one on the side of the road trying to fix this deal if something happens. Yep. So I don't want to throw belts. There's nothing worse than sticking the car and it throwing a belt. Remember when the OG used to have a belt on it? I do. I do. That's <laughs> why I remember I said there's nothing worse than throwing yeah. belts. Uh, what you used to get out of them expensive ass Kevlar belts? Like oh, the Kevlar belts never made it through the burnout. Oh, really? Yeah, it was the piece of shit cheap ones that I'd get a pass and a half out. Of. Oh, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh uh, no, I don't know. Erase Why would you that. Want to ruin my day? Why would you want to ruin my day? <laughs> no. Yep. God, it was gross, man. Remember whenever? Remember when we used to win all them King of the Streets? Uh huh. Uh huh. So we would change it in between every round. Yep. I remember, oh, just I remember because we didn't want to fuck it up. Hey, the one time I didn't change it in between rounds, can't remember who I raced, probably Doc, you yeah. know, because that's who I seem to race all the time in them deals, him or Jackie. Uh -huh. And uh, I decided not to, and it let go right before the finish line uh, of the second race. So it yeah. didn't make it. That's why I say uh, it used to make it a race and a half. Yeah. And uh, it didn't make it, and I still won, but it had ripped the inside. It, it pulls the belt apart. Uh, it pulls the ribs off of the back side of the belt is what it did. And so they would be gone and yeah. it would just slip the whole time. Man. But uh, the Kevlar belts, I was like, hell yeah, man. These Kevlar belts, what were they? 275, something like that. Expensive. I was like, man, let's try these Kevlar belts. They won't, you know, we're going to yeah, get better life out of these. It's Kevlar. In the burnout, I pulled two of them in half. <laughs> I yeah. ordered two and I was like, man, I, 
two of them, man. It lasts me all season, man. I'm gonna get two of them. You know, it was like almost 600 bucks. Well, Burnout. As soon as I <laughs> and then bah, and we're pushing it back oh. out of there. What a fucking mess. <laughs> the OG so, used to have all the cool stuff. So the exhaust is full. Oh yeah, we back. can look at the exhaust. Yeah, they ran the, it the out the back. Exhaust is full and out the back now. Uh, we had it dumped. What, like right here? Uh -huh. They also redid all this and made this uh, X pipe. Yep. Yeah. And it's all aluminum. Uh, race part solutions, like we always use. Uh, three and a half. It's three and a half off the header, and then it turns into four inch after right. the muffler. Yeah, after the muffler. So, turned out pretty cool. This first time I've seen it. They redid the headers because they got smashed in the crash. Yep. Uh, they had to. It looks like this one right here. We do uh, two pipes on them, I think, uh -huh. something like that. Yeah. Luckily, we had some uh, of the extra stainless work stuff yep. from whenever Monkey built them. Yep. There's a little dent in that one. Yep. But other than that, man, everything came out really good. I, I, I'm I'm happy with how this is. Uh, oh, they even they put the new uh, yes the new shocks up front too. That's cool. Well, yeah. We remember we didn't put these on there because they wouldn't fit, so we left the afcos on it. Yeah. Man, it, those afcos are no more. They don't exist. Nope. They had a bad time. So, you know, hey, there's that. Yeah, it's always a silver lining. I was talking with Ryan earlier and he goes, man, that thing looks nicer than what it used to. And I was like, 100%, it's yeah. definitely nicer. Why would you build a car back that's not nicer? Yeah. And he goes, well, see there, man, you owe your dad a, a thank you. <laughs> there's Dave. Look, this is what Dave's phone looks like whenever. Oh, wow. This is his picture whenever he calls <laughs> me, guys. This is Dave. Uh, Let's see what he's got to say. Hello. Hey, you got any 10-pound nitrous bottle bracket? Yeah. Yes. Did I just threw all them ones away. They're in the other shop. Okay, yep, I do. I'm not at home. Okay. I'm, I'm filming you right now. I just showed everybody what your picture looks like whenever you call me. <laughs> great. <laughs> I said, great. I said, this is my BFF calling right now, and this is what I see every time he calls me. What are you doing? I'm out at Dawn's looking at the 55. Yeah. Talking about how nice it is. Hell yeah. We're, we're about to uh, head that way, though. Okay. Or you could just go over there and get them. That's probably what I'm doing. Uh, I'll let you know. I got to go uh, get a mother bottle of nitrous. Wow. You've been using that deal up, huh? <laughs> I was out there making some hits last night. Wow. Hey, I thought we was BFS. Yeah. I guess yeah. we're not, because I probably wouldn't win. Uh, we, uh, I don't know if we ever talked about it. I'm sure we did. If not... Uh, the Bogart fronts did take a pretty good beating in the crash. Well, yeah, maybe um, we're going to give them away. We haven't talked the about it, but yes, we are going to give the old uh, ones away at some point. Uh, we're going to do a big giveaway here at some point, and we're going to give away lots of stuff and one big thing. So stick around for that. It's coming. Seems like a uh, lot of bumps there. Yeah. They did say the steering was just temporary, though, yes. so they could. Yes. Yeah, man, it all looks good. They're, they're doing an amazing job. Uh, just like we knew they would. That's why it's out here. Yep. So, yeah, can't wait to get this thing back racing. I know, me too. So for now, let's put this track bar back on it. Um, here we go, four inch aluminum. Man, they're good. I like that stuff. Look, yeah, they did a good, good. job. QA1 there's, there's, mod there's series. There's a reason that the car's here. By Kinetic Engineering. Your street guard's got Kinetic Engineering on it. Yes. We're going to go have dinner with Chris Bell at PRI next week? We are. It's kind of like a tradition, right? At we this are. point? We are. He already gave me the address to where we're going and everything. Nice. And of course, Aaron goes, oh, great. It's a seafood place. <laughs> I'm sure she could have all the things. Uh -huh. That's her fault for being picky. <laughs> she can eat seafood. Oh, she can? She can. She oh, she chooses not to. That's the one thing that she would, oh. she can eat that she chooses not to. Well, I can't pick up for her on that thing. I know, that's what I'm saying. This thing. I hate these. The diagonal link? No. Oh. Well, that too, but I hate the... Uh, this thing don't got an anti-roll bar. It does not. Huh. You know why? Interesting. <laughs> it's a four-link car. Or, I mean, a ladder bar. Ladder bar car. Yeah. OG never had one. 
It didn't, did it? Huh. You think it helped? I don't think it would hurt. <laughs> I, I never think of anti-roll bars, yeah. bad idea. Because uh, remember when we bent those four link bars in the Nova? You made them look like an S? Yes, we would not have done that if we'd had our anti-roll really? bar. Yeah. Huh. Well, it's pushing against itself. Oh, uh, okay. And you trust this link right here, you know, this ladder link to hold it, hold the whole car from twisting up like that. Yeah. Huh. Yep. All right, man. So that's it that. looks like everything tucks up in there real nice. Yeah. Too. Yep. You know, they, they did a bunch of work to the floor to raise it up so that they could get the exhaust out the back like we wanted. So uh, it was definitely not an easy task. hope that whenever we did all this stuff we actually lost weight which we won't really know because yeah what did it weigh before right we raced this thing and uh crashed it before we had a chance to to scale it and align it <laughs> yeah yeah